There's great power in asking children questions instead of instructing or telling them what to do. It may sound really simple and perhaps a bit too easy, but today's children are so sensitive. When you ask them a question, how come these things are lying here? What are you meant to do with these books? Instead of tell them something like, please pick up your things. How many times must I tell you to leave your books or go and fetch this and, or do that? The brain actually hears the question in a different way. So we know from neuroscience that children can't learn well under stress. They also don't cooperate well when they're feeling stressed. There's this tiny part in the brain called the amygdala that actually for children and adults triggers the flight or fight or freeze response. And once this response is triggered, the child can feel so stressed that they cannot actually hear you properly and cannot go through with completing your instruction. So one of the things I've seen in my practice and with children all over the world is that asking is a much gentler way than telling. So asking invites the child not only to be calmer, but also to self-reflect. So that gives them great self-esteem because they're thinking about the answer for a moment, they're giving you the answer, and then of course they also have a choice in going ahead and cooperating. So this all empowers them. As you may know from our parents, Parent Magic Raising Kids Positively book, I firmly believe that choice empowers children and even two-year-olds can make a choice about red shoes, blue shoes, no shoes. So choices is another video, of course. But today we're talking about questions. So go ahead and give it a try. Try and ask your children questions more than telling them what to do. And instead of giving them the answers, even when they question you and say, I don't know, or how do I do this? Rather give them a question back. So that's another way to use a question. And we also speak about open-ended questions, the where, what, who, when, we don't include the why, which is a lot better than the closed ended. Did you do this? Did you do that? So go ahead and give it a try asking rather than telling and instructing and giving your child a chance to improve their self esteem. Please like this video and subscribe and you'll be getting your weekly updates every Tuesday. Thanks and have a great day.